Hi and welcome to another video update from the Fire Brigade Union here in the Union's head office in Kingston, London. We're joined by Regional Secretary covering the North West and Merseyside, Mark Rowe, and of course General Secretary Matt Rack, to discuss what was a really successful and fundamental campaign that took place in Merseyside. Now Mark, this was a campaign against cuts within Merseyside Fire and Rescue Service. So I suppose just quickly for everyone out there, what were the cuts you were facing and what was the outcome of the campaign you undertook? Well the proposal put forward by the Fire Authority was to remove the nighttime cover at two fire stations. One was the City Centre Fire Station and the other one was Wallasey Fire Station. Um, and we successfully defended against that and had a fantastic result which not only protected the fire cover full time at those two locations but also saw an increase in fire engine numbers from 26 to 30 and an increase in real terms of firefighters jobs from 620 to 662. So Mark you didn't just fight off the cuts, you actually increased job numbers and covers uh, and cover within Merseyside. Yeah, we did. Uh, it was a, a very well coordinated and very well, cam uh, well run campaign um, that involved everybody in that in that campaign. We started off very early um, last year. Um, preparing for a public launch event in June, so we got uh, we had FBU officials and FBU members speaking to all the Labour Party branches and the CLPs and the trades councils and other political parties and other trade unions. So that when we moved to the launch event in June, it was uh, packed out. You, you, it was standing room only, uh, and it was a really fantastic launch event. The press and the TV attended, so everybody was very very clear from the outset what we were seeking to achieve. Now, Mark, whenever we have campaigns within the union, everyone says how crucial public support is. I mean, how are the public engaged across Merseyside and you know, what support did you actually get from them? Well, the public were absolutely magnificent and we've been saying in the press that this is a, a result for no individual group but purely for the public of Merseyside. After the launch campaign we then realised that we had to take it to the public. We had to build an outcry within the public uh, of Merseyside and whilst we had the public and the political uh, response as well, also behind the scenes we were building uh, an industrial response so everybody involved in the campaign knew that if we couldn't convince the politicians and we couldn't convince um, the fire authority that we would ultimately be looking at an industrial campaign to fight against these cuts. But that wasn't necessary, you won the campaign and actually increased cover by doing so. That's right, I mean, getting the MPs involved from the outset was very important and at the launch campaign, and we had a number of public meetings after that, the MPs uh, from Merseyside would come to those campaigns and be vocal about their opposition to the cuts and of course they did their work behind the scenes as well. Oh, it was a tremendous victory. Now, Matt, I mean, this really was an outstanding achievement by the Fire Brigade Union in Merseyside, especially against the background of cuts ripping right across the country. How were the National Union involved in supporting Merseyside? Well, uh, before I say that, Tom, I think we do need to congratulate Mark and the, the region and the members in Merseyside in particular for, for a campaign that's, that's really uh, won some uh, achievements for us. Uh, it's fantastic. Uh, in terms of what we can do, the, the, we work together, you know, our local committees, our local uh, and regional uh, committees and what we have here at head office. So we, we can provide research support in terms of getting facts and figures. We've got a campaigns team who can provide material. All of that was, was taken, made use of by Mark and, and his, his brothers and sisters in the region in, and in the Merseyside Brigade Committee. So, And we will always do that. All that, those resources are available to any brigade committee who wants to, to fight, uh, fight, fight the cuts uh, and campaign on anything. Now, Mark, we heard from Mark how really important membership involvement was in this campaign. As you know, a lot of us up and down the country are facing cuts, how can members actually get involved in these campaigns? How would you encourage them to take part? Well, I think without the members getting involved, we're, you know, we're going to face attack after attack after attack. Uh, and I think the, the, the great thing about this story is that it shows you don't just have to take it. You know, that we've had eight years now of our so-called austerity, which means attacking us, attacking our service, making cuts. Uh, and I, th I suppose people can end up getting demoralised by that. And I think what this campaign has shown is you do not have to just sit there and take it. You can turn the tables on the chief fire officer, the fire authority politicians who are pushing the cuts, and you can say, actually, we've got a, a strong case against what you're doing and we're going to campaign. But that does rely on the members getting involved. So we, we need well-organised branches, we need well-organised brigade committee. And I think this has shown that actually those structures and those mechanisms can work and then we can develop a political campaign and uh, turn the tables. 
Okay, Matt, so this was a local campaign fought for by members with the support of the union that achieved a great victory. Would you describe this as a model campaign that members should look to for encouragement in the future? Absolutely. I think it's it's exactly the sort of thing we need to do. We need to start out by saying, the chief officer saying, I need to make these cuts because of finance and so on. We need to examine what his claims are. We need to analyse the impact on fire cover, an- analyse the impact on public safety, analyse the impact on our members, and actually m- develop a case to say, actually, we don't support these cuts, and actually, we're going to take you on, and in this case, we're going to defeat you. Absolutely. Thanks, Matt. For more updates, not just in the Merseyside victory, but in the wider work of the union, you can sign up to our our campaigning um, email system, which is called Roll Call. That way you get news direct into your email system. Now, that's available at the link you can see via our website, which is www.fbu.org.uk. For more immediate updates, you can also follow us on Twitter, and that's simply at FBU National. Until next time, thanks for watching. Thanks, Matt, but especially, Mark, well done from all of us. Thanks, Mark.